Continuing with our two-week road trip around Scotland, we departed Stirling and headed west, making a stop at Dune Castle before going to Loch Lomond and the Trossachs. So I'm here at Dune Castle, and you have to come here if you're a fan of visiting film and TV sites. This is a castle that was used in Outlander as Castle Leoch, and you might recognize it as Winterfell in Game of Thrones. Dune Castle is one of Scotland's finest late medieval strongholds. It was built for Robert Stuart, Duke of Albany, who was the younger brother of Robert III. The Duke of Albany was known as Scotland's uncrowned king, and Dune Castle was one of his main residences in the 1300s. After Albany's death in 1420 and the death of his son Murdoch in 1424, Dune Castle became a possession of the crown. The castle now became a royal retreat. Even though it provided secure lodging, it wasn't as magnificent as Edinburgh Castle or Stirling Castle. With that said, we aren't sure if what we see today is half of a castle or whether Dune was ever completed. When you visit Dune Castle, you can see the living quarters, including its impressive Great Hall. There's also the kitchen tower, two floors of high status chambers, and the Duke's Hall with its double fireplace and passages. If you're a fan of movie and TV filming locations, Dune was a location for Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Game of Thrones, and Outlander. Regardless, Dune Castle is a fascinating place to visit and explore. Definitely check it out if you're traveling to Stirling or embarking on a road trip of Scotland like we did. Next, we explored Loch Lomond in the Trossachs National Park. Loch Lomond is the biggest lake in all of Britain. The word Trossachs refers to this area that's thought to be the Scottish Highlands in miniature form. We drove past several lochs and admired many pretty views, especially on our drive of the Duke's Pass. Then we stopped at the Balak Castle and Country Park at the edge of Loch Lomond itself. This area has 200 acres of paths, forests, wetlands, and open green space. I loved walking along the lake and exploring the gardens where many flowers were in bloom. The castle itself lies abandoned today. Even though you can't go inside, it's a lovely landmark to admire on the property. After spending the night in Calendar, we walked from our B&B to Brackland Falls. The original iron bridge that once stood here was destroyed by a flood in 2004. In 2010, this striking wooden structure replaced the original bridge. Brackland Falls is a lovely cascading waterfall to see. There are also hiking trails here if you'd like to go for a walk. As we departed the Trossachs, we had one last stop to make at the Falls of Falloch. The river Falloch drops off the edge of a cliff, forming a 10 meter cascading waterfall. In addition, there's an interactive sculpture at the Falls of Falloch called Woven Sound. This art installation is a lengthy tunnel of woven steel rods. Walk through the sculpture to view the waterfall from another perspective. Justin and I spent the afternoon in Oban, a cute seaside resort town. We didn't have many plans here, so after lunch we wandered around town and up to McKaig's Tower on Battery Hill. Built in 1897 by local banker John Stuart McCaig, the tower's construction provided work for local stone masons and became a lasting monument to the McCaig family. Wander around the walls of the tower, see the gardens, and enjoy spectacular views across Oban Bay. You can see the whole town from up here. It's a very peaceful and pretty place to enjoy. As we made our way up to Glencoe, we couldn't resist catching glimpses of Castle Stalker. It's about 25 miles north of Oban, set on its own tiny island. It was built around 1320 and belonged to the McDougals. Nowadays, the castle is privately owned, though there are a limited number of tours each year. Thanks for watching our video about our trip to the Trossachs and beyond. We've got many more videos from our two-week road trip around Scotland. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then click the bell to get notified of our latest travel videos.